What's up everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be walking through the Hero platform. What you can do on this, we're gonna be using the website to walk you through everything that you can do on this platform. Let's get into this. So as you can see, this is our homepage. We've got the drop that just happened with $50 per pack here. It shows how many packs are there. It's sold out right now, but I'm sure future drops are gonna be shown up here. We've got a news section including their Discord and different links that you can click on there. And then the on the market, the packs that are on the market, how much they're selling for you. If you click view listings, it'll take you to this market tab. So we'll show you that when we get there. And then a complete your collection section, which just have various cards that are on the market and how much they are going for there. On the right side here, we've got my collection, which will take you to that next tab. So we'll get to that. And the pack store, which will take you to the next tab after that. And we'll also get to that when we get there. We've got your user information here, the rank, the items that you have, the score, and the percentage complete as well as more information here the next quests the quests are essentially when you open a pack you get a quest and you just activate it here or every time you log in and whatever you need to find there the live feed will actually show you once this loads how many packs of these packs have actually been opened so there's 10,600 total packs and I believe there's about 3,000 more packs to be still opened there and then in the top right you can search through the usernames on on the site bid is actually for offers that you put in on certain collectibles you can see it there if you click on that my packs remaining so I've got one pack left here I can open it or I can add it to the market and then my alerts are all here the different market purchases market sells anything that you do on the platform and then we've got the total amount that you have on the platform, the deposit, withdraw, and history of your transactions, and then anything that you need here for your user settings to be able to edit your profile or whatever you need to do with that. We're gonna continue on the top here to this collection tab. And in this collection tab, you can see that we've got the sets at the very top. So we're in 2022 right now, that's the only choice. And then there's the hybrid set, the chapter one in the limited edition. This six here refers to the different rarities here on the left side from common to mythic and you can actually click through this and see all the ones that you own or don't own you can view the cards and when you view the cards you can actually see on the market what they are listed for their edition number and their total edition number there it's really conveniently set up with this so the chapter one hybrid sets are actually the sets in the seven pack or the eight pack you're going to get five cards that are from the chapter one set and two cards from the limited edition movie set here in each of those card packs. In the eight card packs, you are going to get one of two of the movie posters here. In the eight pack premium box is the only one that you're going to find the Riddler in. The Batman can also be found in that eight card premium box as well as the two and four card premium box. And then we've got the digital exclusive here. As you can see, I've been collecting some commons here. I've got nine out of nine collected and I can see how many 15 of 30 collected from the Batman universe, my rank and score there for this specific series, for this specific set. You can see that I've got two of the Mr. Freezes and I can open this card up and see my number there of the edition out of how many editions and the score that I get with this card. The score is based on the rarity, the more rare, the higher the score, as well as the edition number, the mint that you have, the lower mint you have, the more score that you get. So mint number lower and the rarity higher gives you a higher score. There's two factors that play into that. You can see the history. So I actually bought this first one, the 941. It was minted by Hero. And then this user actually opened it from a pack and I purchased it from them for $25. And then I can click on on the market and see where they're actually listing right now. So you can see actually that they're listing for quite a bit more in the market. And this just keeps going up. You can withdraw this card to IMX or you can list it on the market conveniently from this page here. So you can scroll through here, see all the cards that you have, don't have, list cards on the market, and even pick up cards from the market based on which card you are looking for. In the Batman Mythics, this one actually had a one of one in one of the card packs as an additional card to the three in each of the card packs. And then this is the Riddler, which will actually be given away here to the leaderboard 
or to those that have completed the set. There's only a possibility of 100 sets to be completed. They're thinking not a lot of people will actually complete sets, given that it's very difficult. You need two of the legendaries, and the legendaries are going for quite a bit right now in the aftermarket. So they're thinking that it's going to be mostly those in the leaderboard of 100 editions going for this Riddler. We can continue on here to packs. If there's any packs remaining, it will be in this pack store. Trading is actually quite interesting. You can actually type in here to let people know which cards you are looking to get and just continue to message here. Active transfers and active trades are incoming and outgoing that you can click through and you can actually see any incoming trades and add cards or deduct cards from that. You can actually go in here to a user and see which cards that they are featuring in this and you can try to actually trade with them. So you can add items in from this user by looking through at which ones they have. So you can actually see which cards that they have and select them, add them to the trade, and then you can add yours to your trades as well. So if I went in here and I just selected one of these cards, I can add it to the trade. And then I can see the trade score delta on this. I would be getting 16 points. They would be getting 15 points as a net negative on this. So this would be a one point difference between these two cards here. I can send trade or I can actually cancel that. And then we can continue into the market here. This is a little bit more difficult to navigate compared to going through your collection and clicking on cards that you don't have or cards that you do have and wanting to list them. It's just a matter of going through and clicking the card types that you're looking for and the digital cards were the Batman universe with a colon in the rarity. So if I wanna look at the commons, I can go through here and take a look and see where they are currently listing in the aftermarket market and they have gone up quite a bit with these commons. I can continue to do that with others, for example, the uncommons, and I can see which cards I need and which cards I already have with this. So I can see that Commissioner Gordon, I already own this edition, it doesn't have need, and then this Azrael, I need, so it is listed here. And you can see the floor prices, all the different listings. And it's interesting because you can actually see the recent sales to compare where that might be. And you can see a premium mints, you can sort by that. So these are mints that are typically really low under that 100 mark. You can see signed items if they're available as well as items that are open to offers. So if you want, you can click buy now and this goes really fast. You click it by now, it's in your collection or you can view item and then make an offer based on that. So really interesting what they've got going on here. If I could click back to listings, it'll take me and it'll take me all the way back to having no filters. A little bit inconvenient if you wanna flip through it really quickly through these things. But the convenient thing about this is that you can see the floor prices on each of them quite conveniently with each tier and with all of the cards in those particular tiers. Continuing on, you can see the packs that are available on the market. We've got packs of $700 there for the floor price and I can click in there. You can click in here for packs and see the floor price of $700 and we can click in here. And it's very similar to the others where you can see the recent sales of these and where they're being listed in the market. And we can go back to listings and that's that for the market. You can also see my listings and I've got nothing currently there. Once you're on the Immutable X Marketplace, you can search through different currencies, what they're being offered for. You can see all of the cards here, their edition numbers, and even see the currency that they're listed for, how much they're going for, and go ahead and connect your wallet if you need to and purchase. These also includes 12% fees with this. The leaderboard simply allows you to go through hybrid and digital sets and even sort by region right now or season and collection. But this just shows you where everybody is in this leaderboard. Again, the top 100 will likely get that Riddler unless somebody has completed a set, then it'll go to the people that have completed the set first. We've got the quests here, which again, these just give you rewards based on what you do in the app on any given day, week, and all time. Then we can go to Asset Wallet, where if you actually went into your collection and put it onto Immutable X, you would see it here. And then you can go into the 
Immutable X Marketplace and purchase or sell your cards there for a variety of crypto. And that's everything that you can do with Hero right now on this platform. The web platform is much easier to navigate, much easier to use. I really highly recommend going through this as well as loading up money does not cost you extra fees by going through the web platform. So definitely go through the web platform. If this video has helped you for whatever reason, please give it a like, leave any comments, questions, concerns down in the comments section below and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.